sharing time, a joyful time together. Step over the box, crawl under the chair, walk around the tree, run behind the sandbox. Christy and her friend were having a happy time together. Mama had set up an obstacle course for them in the backyard. Christy and her friend laughed as they tried to follow the directions carefully. The girls went through the obstacle course one more time before deciding they wanted to play in Christy's large sandbox. Come on, Christy said to her friend. Let's make some sand houses. The girls worked quietly for a while. Then Christy's friend said, Look at my big house, Christy. Watch what I can do. As Christy's friend stood up, she put her foot on the big sand house and flattened it. I'm very glad our houses are not made of sand, laughed Christy as she looked at her friend's flattened sand house. Our house is made of brick. I'm sure it will last a long time. We have friends who live on a houseboat, said Christy's friend. They are missionaries in the Bahama Islands. Our friends go from island to island telling people about Jesus. In a houseboat, they can travel easily from one island for another. Don't you think it would be fun to live on a houseboat, Christy? Yes, it would, agreed Christy. We learned at school that in some parts of the world, people live in snow houses and even grass houses. Don't forget about wood houses, Christy, said her friend. That's the kind of a house in which I live. Look at all the blocks in the sandbox, said Christy. Let's make a wood house out of them. That's a great idea, Christy, said her friend. We can combine, put together a set of red blocks with this set of green blocks. And we'll have enough blocks to make a really big house. The girls worked patiently, piling up the blocks again and again. But each time they fell down. Then they heard Mama calling them to come in for dinner. Christy's friend was going to stay and have dinner with Christy's family. Everyone sat down and Daddy prayed, saying thank you to God for the food. Now, girls, Mama said smiling, I know you have been learning about plants at school. As I was preparing dinner, I began thinking about the different parts of plants from which our food comes. Can you recognize the different plant parts from the food we are eating? Please pass the stems. Christy giggled as she saw the delicious celery. Mama had spread peanut butter on the celery pieces. What a healthful food that made. Christy's friend looked at the other foods on the table. She laughed as she said, I love roots. <laughs> May I have some potatoes, please? I think I'll join in this game too, said Daddy smiling as he saw the fresh green lettuce salad. Mama, I believe I will have for some leaves. Then I will have some flowers, laughed Mama as she put a serving of cauliflower on her plate. Plants are very useful, said Daddy as he poured each girl a large cold glass of milk. Cows must eat healthy plants to be able to give good milk. Don't forget our meat, said Mama. This meat loaf tastes good because the meat came from an animal that ate healthy green plants. As everyone finished dinner, Christie's friend said, Thank you for that wonderful meal, Mrs. Lovejoy. Thank you, Mama, said Christy. That was delicious. I feel as if I need to go some gerbil jumping jacks like we did at school. I need some exercise. 
We had a real gerbil at school, Mr. and Mrs. Lovejoy, said Christie's friend. He moved around by jumping instead of running. He was good at jumping jacks. He was so cute too. Speaking of exercise, said Teddy, I have the net up in the yard. We can play netball just as soon as we have had our Bible reading. As Mama, Christy, and Christy's friend gathered around, Daddy read from the Bible story, the story of Cornelius, the man who did not know about Jesus. I am thankful we live in a country where we can learn about Jesus, said Daddy quietly. I am thankful too that missionaries go to foreign, faraway countries so that people there can know about Jesus. When Daddy finished praying, Christy and her friend ran outside. They were ready to play netball. Come on, Daddy, called Christy. We need you to show us how to catch the ball. You are so good at catching balls. As Daddy came outside, Mama called from the open window. You forgot the ball, Christy. Here it is, said Mama as she threw the ball to Christy. The ball bounced on the soft green grass and Christy caught it. Mama, called Christy. That ball bouncing out of the open window reminded me of the story of Eutychus. Do you know that Bible story? Yes, I do, said Mama. He fell from an open window just as your ball did. God took care of Eutychus even when he fell asleep in an open window, said Christy. Wherever we are, God takes care of us. Soon, it was time for Christy's friend to go home. I have enjoyed our time together, said Christy's friend. Thank you for inviting me.